Hello, uh, this is the research proposal example that I'm going to show you. You'll be able to see a number of positive features uh, of this example, but also talk about some weaknesses of it as well, so that you can get an understanding of what is uh, a strong and weak uh, pro research proposal. On the front page, you'll see that uh, the topic is iPads. It's the technology chosen for this example. The driving question is how can teachers and students at ZU use iPads more effectively in class? My audience will be teachers and also students. And these are some guiding research questions. These uh, aren't specifically answered in the example, but I do answer them in a roundabout way. First, let's look at the uh, overall layout of this uh, example. Um, it has a reference list at the end, so it's based on research that I've done. There are five references there. It's also based on an interview that I've done with, uh, first of all, it's also based on an interview I've done with Terry on page three, also Anne on page four, and down on page six, I include uh, some things that a UC teacher did, Darren. It's also based on a survey that was completed You'll see that I've used n equals 32 because 32 ABP teachers participated in the survey that I give a few statistics from. And then also 18 teachers from the University College uh, responded to one, so I've used a few statistics there. Let's look at the executive summary first of all. The executive summary is something that uh, gives a, a very good in overview of the whole paper. If I wasn't going to read all of your document, then I should be able to get the main idea from each section in the executive summary. It's important to summarize, use different language, and also be very concise with your language. The introduction looks at is an explanation of the context of the current research proposal. You identify the problem, and you talk about it in very general terms, broad terms. I've identified the problem of iPads in ZU. And I talk a little about the Academic Bridge Program and also the University College. I talk in general about laptops, uh, transitioning from laptops to iPads. I incorporate research and I do this in a broad sense, not talking about it specifically. Uh, I use uh, Pentadura and Abbott as two research articles. And then uh, down here there's a small uh, thesis that I've used and that outlines what I will talk about in the rest of the proposal. The current situation identifies the problem at ZU and the specific problem that I'm facing. I do this uh, through uh, an interview with Terry. Also, I do this through, uh, again, research. I've used Rogers here to talk about uh, something and also it linked in the survey. Oops. The next paragraph uh, brings in another research, uh, Pentadura. This time I'm specifically linking the current situation at ZU in the Academic Bridge Program and the University College and linking in specific research. I'm also developing the problem and I'm, I'm getting, I'm making the audience aware of the problem in the local situation. Then I talk about specific needs um, of the uh, students. Two of them were ESL learners needs and also motivation of students. Uh, the project plan is next. That's a description uh, of uh, the step-by-step -step plan. I think this is perhaps uh, different to what you could do. In this sense, it could be weak. Uh, your step-by-step -step plan could be really detailed and offer a step-by-step -step example of how you will solve the problem. You could make a table or a diagram to show the steps in uh, your solution. For me, 
I, I was talking about teachers training. And then in the next paragraph on page five and six, talking about uh, apps and specific apps that might help with learning and also motivation. The discussion of benefits is the next one. We must link this to our project plan. We obviously want to talk about the benefits that will exist from our project plan. For me, it was in terms of learning and motivation. The conclusion is just a small recap, offering insights into your research proposal. Remember, it may be the last thing that someone looks at when reading your proposal. So make it good, make it strong.